Hello and welcome to another video from No Code Cult. Today, we are basically going to look at how to fetch data from your Google Sheets over to your Bubble app. On Bubble, if you go over to the plugin section and click on Add Plugins and search for Google Sheets, you can see that there are options to embed your entire Google Sheets over to your Bubble app. But what if we just want to add specific data to specific fields? We are basically going to look at how to do that in this video. And we'll be doing this using a platform called No Code API. Now, while I was researching, I also found two other platforms that let you do the same thing. Uh, for example, SheetDB.io and Sheet2API. But what's interesting about No Code API is that unlike the other two, no code API lets you connect to a lot more platforms than just Google Sheets. So it's a bit more versatile in that aspect. The first time when you open No Code API, you will be greeted with the marketplace and you will have the activate button on top of the service that you basically want to work with. I've already gone ahead and activated Google Sheet. I'll click on use this API. All right, now that we selected Google Sheets API, Let's click on create Google Sheets API. And for the first time when you do this, there'll be an authenticate button here, which will let you connect your Google account with no code API and you'll have to grant the permissions. Uh, but I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'll just start with a name. Uh, my Google account only at the moment has one sheet. That is my uh, example sheet here that I'll be using. So I'll select that as well. I'll click on create. You can see that API is created successfully. We do have a message and uh, we can go ahead and click on use this API. All right, now let's go ahead and click test API. And as you can see, it's asking for a value for tab ID. Tab ID is basically the ID of the tab in your Google Sheets. Let's copy and paste that here. Yep. Uh, now I'll go ahead and click on test API once again. As you can see, the data from your Google Sheet is fetched in JSON format and it's returning total of 10 values. We have 10 values here in quotes and author. All right, now let's copy this endpoint and head over to Bubble. You do have the option to customize this even further. But for the sake of this example, we are going to basically show you how to connect this to Bubble and fetch the data. So on Bubble, um, we'll go ahead to plugins. We'll click on add plugins and we'll install the Bubble API connector. Once installed, let's click on done. And all the plugins that we install on Bubble will be under the plugins tab. Now that we only have the API connector, uh, I'll click on add another API and you can rename your API. I'm just going to do that so that it'll be easier to identify later when we select it. And I'm going to select add another call. Now the API that we copied earlier, let's paste it here. We can see that the request is get and we can scroll over to initialize call and click on it. Now, if everything's correct, we'll get a pop-up with the return values and everything here looks good to me. So I'm going to click on save and I'm going to head over to design. Now for us to display this data onto our bubble app, uh, since I have a lot of rows, I'm going to use a repeating group. Uh, for this, I'll select, let's say, three columns. And for the type of content, this is important. Uh, I'll choose API call data. And under data source, I'll click and select get data from external API. Now it's asking us for the API provider. We have renamed our API to codes. Let's select that. Now it's still red over here. That means it's missing something. So let's click on more. And it's asking me what do I need to get from that API call? So I'm going to select data. And that's it. Let's just align this a little better.
All right. All right. Now, since we are bringing in text elements, I am going to add a visual text element here. Uh, notice the red outline around the repeating group that we added earlier. It's important to uh, drop your element inside it. And you can see that the text element that we've added to is repeating uh, across all the other columns as well. So let's click on the edit me text here and select insert dynamic data. Once we do that, under the drop down, let's select current cells API call data. And we want the codes to appear here. So our uh, data column had two different, sorry, our spreadsheet had two different uh, columns, one for codes and the other for author. So I'm going to select codes on the first one and let's just align this a little better as well. And under the codes, I want to show the author. So I'll select another text element. I'll drop it onto my repeating group and I'll click on edit again. I'll select insert dynamic data and current cells API call data and I'll select author. Similarly, if you had different elements on your sheet, you could place it on different parts of your bubble app. A very good use case of this would be creating an internal tool where uh, you could display data from your Google sheet and, you know, give control for the user to add, delete and fetch data uh, for your internal app. All right. Now let's go ahead and close this and let's see if this actually worked. So I'll click on preview. Let's give it a minute to load. By default, it's set to vertical scrolling. So you can see that we have a code and we have our author. Right. So now that we know it works, let's just go back and go to our sheets and see if we can add something new and if it would pop up on our app as well. Uh, let's go and test this API once again and see if it's actually fetching the data. I'll give it a minute. And uh, you can see the random text that we've added had shown up here as well. Let's click on the preview tab and just refresh this once. And there you go. You can see that the text appears here as well. So that was a success. All right. So that's how you fetch your Google Sheets data onto Bubble. If you like the video, do share, like, comment and subscribe. If you want to see more apps built on Bubble or if you want to see more Bubble related content, do let us know in the comments as well. That's it from me. I'll see you in the next video.